Hey guys, it's your boy back again with another video. Let's sit in our handy dandy thinking chair and make this video. So I had a friend of mine ask me what editing software I use when I make my videos. And I was like, InShot. And he was like, yo, that's crazy. You should do a tutorial sometime. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do one right now. So as you can see with this video, I started out by clicking on the video. As you can see, these are my videos. I'm going to switch it to picture. And I'm going to take that picture right there. I actually downloaded that picture from the Wayfair website. So... As you can see, you can actually pick your canvas. You can do fit. You can do a plethora of sizes. We're just gonna say a plethora of sizes. I'm not gonna go through and name every single one of them, but it's a lot. You got TikTok size, old iPhone, YouTube. Now, most of my videos I do 16 by nine for my regular YouTube, or I would do the TikTok sizes for the YouTube shorts and TikTok, of course. But for this, we're gonna make it a YouTube video canvas. So we're gonna take that picture, zoom it in. Now. You're probably wondering, why are you doing this? Well, basically, I'm going to use that picture as the background for the video. So then I'm going to go back in to picture in picture. I'm going to pick a video. Now, they actually have different settings. I'm going to go over to mask. And I'm going to cut out everything around the video to get the size that I want. Basically, just the TV. We're going to shrink that down to get the TV size. Then we're going to enlarge that and place that right on the TV screen. So now the video is actually playing on the TV. Crazy, right? So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take the picture. Come on, get out of that. Let me, let me tweak that just a little bit more to make it look good. A little bit of micro tweaking. Just now we're gonna take that picture and stretch it out to the length of the video. All right. Now, as you can see, the video plays on the TV screen. And you got a nice, elegant background. But there's more. There's more. There's so much stuff you can do. Okay. All right, so we got it to fit. Just checking it, make sure. Now you have different resolutions you can save it to, different frame rates. Now, if you have an iPhone, your video is an MOV. Android is going to be an MP4, but you can switch it to MP4 if you want. Now, I'm going to save that video. Now, I'm going to go back into InShot. Start a whole new video of the video we just created, and I'm going to add more stuff to that video. So, usually, I'll take a video and I'll edit it and tweak it so many times just to get it just right. Like there's so many features in InShot that people don't know. All right, we're gonna split it. After we split the video, we can actually add other videos into where we split. So as you can see, we're going through the videos. What video do I wanna use? What video shall I use? What video shall I use today? What video shall I use today? We're gonna click that. And as you can see, it goes from one video to the next, all put together. You can actually pick where you want it to be, whether you want it to move it to the front, the back, or in between where you have split it. There are so many different transitions you can use. Now, my favorite one is the comic book transition, which looks cool, like comic book pages. <laughs> cool, right? Look at that boy. He's healthy. He healthy. That's the thick ass boy. Yeah, well, I, I've been hitting the gym. But that's a story for another time. So you got all these transitions. Now, you can actually click on it to make sure every split has the same transition. <laughs> As you can see, because I made a lot of splits. Giggity. I don't even think that deserved a giggity, but it, it, it got a giggity. There's so many things that you can do with this app. It's amazing, especially if you're in the picture editing and video editing. It's crazy. And it only costs $29. $4.90 and you can do so much stuff with it so you know I was just playing around with it we're gonna go back let's see what are we gonna do now oh we did picture in picture that's not the one I'm gonna use uh, let's get rid of that one we're still in picture in picture with the video all right let's click on that same video we used before let's get where it's me sitting down all right we're gonna split it delete that and move that to the forward. Now here's something you can do in picture in picture. I'll, okay, move it forward. Now you're gonna take that video where it's just me. We're gonna, yep, I split it here. 
delete that. Now we just have a video up front of just me. Now we're gonna actually go to cutout. So I cut myself out of the rest of the video. Now, if I was actually planning to use this video like this, I would have recorded with the green screen in the background, which would have been easier for the AI to cut me out seamlessly. But, you know, I was just showing you all the things you can do with this app. Like seriously, this app is amazing. I've been on TikTok too long because I almost started singing. Seriously, wait till you see my silhouette. <laughs> I better not sing that song on too loud. Or let it come downstairs. What bitches you watching on TikTok? But that's a story for another time. If you don't tell, I won't tell. Shh, don't tell nobody. But seriously, <laughs> I almost started again. But seriously, this editing app punches well above its weight class. So if you're in the video editing and photo editing, get in shot. It is well worth it. And once you pay the $29 or $17 a year, which I don't know why you would do that, they just keep doing different updates and it's it's well worth it.